What is up, Wild Squad? Hope you're all doing well. In today's video, we're going to cover the number one coin making method in Madden this year, and that is, of course, sniping. Specifically, we are going to cover some of the best filters in Madden 21 for sniping. Now, I made a very general 20 minute long sniping tutorial at the beginning of the year, and I direct people back to that a lot because it all talks about sniping, how you can do it really well, and that is the best way, the safest way that you can make coins all year long. But it's a long video, so I thought I would just update it every couple of weeks with the best filters in the game, the ones you should be looking for. And sniping really is the best way that you can make coins in Madden 21. You can flip coins very easily, whether you have 10,000, 20,000, 30,000, or 500,000 coins or a million coins, it's still the best way to make coins and of course we'll be doing a 100,000 coin giveaway later in the video but before we get to these filters a quick word from our sponsor boys if you're looking to add that brand new shiny player to your team in madden don't gamble with packs hit up red zone coins for the cheapest fastest muck coins available use code waz for 15 percent off your order and this black friday don't miss red zone rush when code waz will be boosted to 25 percent off in every hour red zone coins will be having special deals all right so let's get into these filters and guys don't forget to subscribe if you do want to build your coin set become a month millionaire subscribe now with the bell notification on because my videos are going to help you do that okay let's go ahead and talk about these so at the beginning of the year a lot of what i did a lot of what i talked about were these golds right the 75 to 79 70 to 74 because these were really easy ones where you could basically invest a very low amount and basically make about a thousand coins off of it now it's a little bit harder to profit off of these golds. You can see here uh, at the beginning of the year they were selling for like four or five, six thousand coins or so, or you know that, that first month. And now they're you know barely selling for a thousand. So you can always find snipes in these, but they're going to be very small. I recommend looking in the golds only if you're like under 10,000 coins like if you legitimately have nothing which you should probably just be playing the game also but you can always snipe and then go play the game some but of course if you're going to be doing this the the best filter my favorite filter is just going team by team it's very simple so we know here basically you're going to figure out your sell price and by figuring out your sell price you're going to figure out where you want to buy at by looking at these prices here when i'm sniping i always on the console i always go down like three rows or so as i've said before so 1500 coins is about what you're going to be able to sell for taking out tax if you sell a card for 1500 you're going get about 1350 back so as we're going and filtering by teams we obviously want to be sniping stuff for under 1350 and if we can't find that then you know don't snipe it of course but what you want to do you don't want to get one that's like 1250 you don't want to profit just 100 coins i usually aim to profit about 10 percent minimum off of my snipes so if i'm going to get 1350 after selling the card for 1500 then i'm going to want to buy a card for at most 1100 because that profits me about 250 coins but again this is very very small uh you're not really going to find a whole lot of snipes here just because the people just don't really sell their gold as much anymore they're not as profitable there you go you got one right there for 950 uh so you can definitely find them here for like four or five six hundred coins maybe you get lucky you get a thousand but for the most part this is going to be reserved for the people that have almost no coins at all in their account and they're just they're trying to do anything they can to build it back up but that's what you're going to want to do there now bumping it up to the 80s 81s the elites these are going to be more for the people with 20 30 40 thousand coins they, you know have a little bit more to invest and they want to get a bit bigger return as you get higher up you you know as you go 80 81 and then all the way up to 89 and all that stuff you're gonna have a potentially bigger profit off of it obviously it does take more to invest so the more coins you have you know the more the quicker you can make coins so the basically the biggest premise in madden 21 is always to have some coins available you don't really ever want to go down to 10 20 000 coins because if you're doing that you can't make coins like i always say guys you need coins to make coins that's why a lot of the methods i have they require like a 100 or 200 000 coin investment because that's just kind of how it is this year ea hasn't isn't really giving us any crazy Easy, easy coin method so you want to keep a pretty healthy stack of coins my mark is 500,000 I never really want to drop below that obviously a million two million is great but if you're dropping below 100,000 that's really not good so I would definitely try and keep above that but for the 80s and 81s these are basically where the golds were at the start of the year you can see about 4,000 coins and guys what I'm saying here is when you're on the main screen like this to get your selling point you go down like three or four rows see so about 5,000 is what you would be able to sell these guys for and I always undercut this by a little bit I would sell it for like 49.50 and also do this on the mobile app if you can don't do it on the console if you can help it uh, but the reason I always say to go down about three rows is because all of these are gonna sell when you're on the main page here and you're not filtered down at all these are not the cheapest cards at all these are gonna be some of the most expensive cards that you can get for 80s and 81s so never buy these cards if you all you need is an 80 for an exchange set or a little bit of trending never go and buy these cards always filter down a little bit because you can always find it cheaper than that but 80s and 81s are pretty similarly priced right here so whether we were able to snipe an 80 or an 81 we'd sell it for about 5,000 after tax that's 4,500 so if we want to profit about 10%, that's about 4,000 that we're going to be able to buy it for because then we profit 500 coins, which is a little more than 10%. So 4,000 is kind of what we're looking here for our snipes. And guys, like I said, I really just go by the team. There we go. We got a snipe there. That's about a 700 coin profit. And I really do like going by the team. I just go through and filter through. And as long as there's enough cards 
which with the elites, you've got the autumn blast cards, uh, the regular base elites, the, the MVPs and all that. And also be very careful, guys. You got these autumn blast guys here. So, of course, obviously you can sell these for regular coins, uh, but they do quick sell for leaves until they convert over and the leaves are no longer a currency. So just be aware of that. But as you're going through here, you know, you're just going looking for your snipes. Again, these aren't. I just went to bills and bills again. Uh, as you're looking for snipes, you know, there's really not a whole lot to it. Just go team by team. A lot of people, instead of going team by team, uh, they'll go up here and they'll go position by position, or you can go program by program. You can go by superstar MVPs. You can go by autumn uh, blast and all that good stuff. Going on down here, you can go uh, position by position. I don't love it as much. It's not my favorite, but you can definitely find some good snipes this way. Uh, but 80s and 81s, it's pretty simple. I would keep it on that buy now price filter. I wouldn't really bother uh, going by newest and all that stuff, but that's really how you're going to do it for 80s to 81s. And really 82s to 83s, 84s to 85s, and 86 to 87s as well. They're all pretty similar. You've got different programs. At 84 and 86s, you do have the team builders. I wouldn't really bother filtering down by those because we'll go ahead and take a look at it here. We'll go to the 86s and we'll go look at the team builder. So the 86s right now, the lowest prices on this main page, which again are not the lowest prices at all, we could filter that down and definitely find some for about 21,000, which is what we would be aiming for at minimum, probably about 20,000 ideally. Uh, but 86s, the team builders are, let's go look at their prices because 26,000 is probably what we could sell for. So let's just go by program and we'll go by team builders and that's gonna be all the 86 overall team builders. And they're already 3,000, the lowest one here, we could definitely filter this down a little bit more and get a little bit of a cheaper price. Uh, but these are not the best prices at all. See, the, not really at all. There's not a whole lot of them. Uh, there's an 86 overall for maybe two 86s overall for every team. So that's 64. That's not, just not a whole lot to go by. Same kind of thing goes for the team standouts at level 89. I wouldn't really bother with those. I just don't think there's a whole lot of value there. Obviously, you can find snipes. So if you find them, get them. I'm not saying not to get them, but they're just not very consistent. But this is really where I make my bread and butter. After you've worked all your way up, you're at about 100, 200, 300,000 coins is really the 88 to 89 range because this is where we get all the wild card wednesday cards and then obviously 90s to 91 so you can do it for both depending on uh what your budget is but if we scroll on down here the lowest 89 we see uh we got one for 50,000 roughly and then you go down a little bit more like i said like three rows or so 52 53,000 so we would i would probably look to sell mine for about 52,000 so what you really want to do here obviously you can filter down by elite and then the team by team and all that stuff but the best ones you're going to be able to find more than likely are going to be one of these wild card wednesdays that's your flashback your veterans your heavyweights your rising stars and then your legends are actually pretty good as well so 40,000 is what we're looking for here so going down and filtering down by flashbacks not really anything there uh and guys it just depends on the time of day also i'm doing this at about five in the morning right now there's just not a really whole lot of stuff at the 89s and what you can do here the buy now price uh especially right after something's uh, fallen so we got heavyweights coming today when they come out and people are ripping packs for those guys you can always go by newest because you can bet that there are going to be a lot of people on these filters and when you're filtering by newest uh you do want to filter it down so that you get 59 minutes in that top left mark so you got to filter down a little bit more you got to go by offensive or anything like that just to get it a little bit lower and you can see guys the market's pretty dead right now with these rising stars there's not a whole lot going on right now at five in the morning this one's only got 13 minutes left so he's been up for 47 minutes there's just not a whole lot of snipes right now let's go ahead and jump it up to the 90s and see if we can get a little bit better luck here so jumping it on up to the 90s and 91s you're going to want to go down here and again like i said three or four rows we're gonna look at 90s first we are getting 91 today on the heavyweight so keep that in mind i'm gonna get one two three four rows or so 82,000. so we'd be looking for about the 74,000 range at most to buy at you want to snipe lower than that there probably isn't going to be a whole lot right now as early as i'm doing it but it's going to be the same thing as we were doing on the 89s guys you're going to go by heavyweights rising stars legends all that good stuff legends are probably going to be your best yeah none of these are really low enough right now with the 77s the market's just too dead right now but i would definitely recommend doing this on mobile like i said we got a little bit better prices on the legends we got one here for 75 so that's almost a snipe but there's really not a whole lot right now on the market so if you're doing this if you're working through it and you have a good filter like this the 89s are usually a very good one the 89s 90s are very good and if you're just going through though and you're not having a whole lot of luck just go to a different one go to the 86s 85s whatever like that and just filter team by team don't just sit on some filter where not a whole lot is happening and when i say not a whole lot like i said you can go and check this so let's say you're looking for flashbacks in the 90 range uh go to the newest 
and then filter it down there so we can see that's 47 minutes he's already been up for 30 minutes you want this number to be 59 minutes if it's not 59 minutes then you either haven't filtered down far enough or people just aren't putting these cards up for auction and see i have filtered down even more by offense so i can see that no one's putting cards up right now this one was put up 13 minutes ago this one was put up 49 minutes ago so this is just an awful time to go and snipe these cards so if you are sniping at like three or four or five in the morning like i am right now uh, i would definitely go on down to the 80s and 81s 80s to 82s 83s to 84s whatever uh, where there's a lot more cards because you have a lot more chance of actually finding something one other thing i want to mention i just saw this one here at the 85s are these yellow cards the coin quick sell cards uh, i do have my spreadsheet down below if you want to go click on that it's got all the values I'll, I'll, I'll put those on the main sheet of it but it's got all the quick sell values for these uh coin cards so the 85s are 110,000. just be aware of that obviously you would be losing a thousand coins if you bought this one but there are a lot of times that you can snipe coin cards for good prices you don't have to worry about the tax okay you can buy it and sell it so a snipe would actually be anything under 110,000 for that 85 would be a good value because i'd get that 1000 coins back and just keep that in mind when you're going through coin cards don't get put up a ton of times but when people do a lot of times they mess it up but they will get scooped up quickly so if you see it buy it asap all right to be entered into the 100,000 coin giveaway let me know what your best snipe on the year is or i guess where you've made your most profit which filters and things like that let me know that down below and give me a way to contact you of course and thank you guys so much for watching you all the mvps and as always i will see y'all in the next one